the criticism, it's going to come, come in thick. Let's I hear what up. you're saying now. It, the gloves are off at this point, and, we, and people got to be real. And well, you and I have it. talked about this off camera. Well, guess what? I see that little red light. It's on, and yeah. I'm going to bring it up right now. Okay. The, the gloves should have been off years ago. We should have been having real criticism. And the discussion after Brazil, Max, was can we beat the Colombians and the Belgians and the Argentinas of the world? Are you kidding me? We can't beat Trinidad on a field that's too wet and too heavy? <laughs> what are we doing? This what are we doing? This is the discussion that's being had. It's, it's remarkable to me when I go in this stupid thing right here at how ignorant people are when the rest of the world, Belgium played Bosnia on a cow pasture, but we can't play in Trinidad with water on the field. Serena brought that up. He says, bring the big boys of Europe here. And I'm like, why are we caught up in all of the outside noise? Why are we all, it's I'm going to show you now, listen. Is this an excuse? This, this one bothers me, but it, it does, but we throw it away based on what 100%. you said. 100%. Yes. You guys have to get the this result. This goal never happened. But again, if you are relying on others to get your job done, then you can't rely on Panama, on CONCACAF, on referees. This ball never goes in. But if I read one more tweet <laughs> telling me that Panama didn't deserve it, guess what? The United States has no business being in the World Cup because you can't beat Trinidad winless in their last nine games. What are we, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? And quite honestly, with the amount of money in U.S. Soccer Federation and in Major League Soccer going into player development, then Costa Rica shouldn't be part of the discussion. The arrogance around this sport in our country bothers me, and it has bothered me from the beginning as an ex-player and now in broadcasting because we wanted to move the needle, and I say we as a country. Can you beat Belgium? Can you beat Colombia? Can you beat Argentina? What are we... we, we we can't even win in CONCACAF. No. Well, welcome to Denver, where the expectations of these fans are sky high in the Mile High City. Their teams, the United States and Mexico, are getting set to renew one of the oldest and biggest rivalries in sports. And this time...
right? Winning the Nations League is nice, winning the Gold Cup is nice, but this is essential. Biggest talking points is, of course, Weston McKenney. I mean, what we do know is that he's not included with the squad for the le last latest match after breaking pro. two things. We can feel bad for ourselves or we can continue on with a positive attitude and try to get a, a positive result in Honduras, which we're going to do. We're going to put Seba on. We're going to put Anthony Robinson on. And we're going to put Brendan Harrison we're gonna get a goal. We're gonna get a goal. Once we get one, we get the next one. But you got, you got to leave.